Hey guys! I've been trying for like two months to figure out what I was gonna do for today's video. Not exclusively, I was doing other things. Um, but uh, yeah, I wasn't really sure what to talk about. But then this package came and I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, so I, I once upon a time, like way back before I started making videos regularly, uh, did make one video related to reusable menstrual care. Um, I did a review of, or sort of a how-to for my Ruby Cup sterilizer. Um, anyway, so this is not out of the blue, uh, because yeah, I've done this stuff before technically. Um, I use cloth and cups and reusable menstrual products when I'm not pregnant. And um, so I knew like right away that I was not interested in like those hefty, you know, overnight scratchy disposable pads. Um, they're just, I don't like, I don't like stickers. That's one thing, like fruit stickers are a weird phobia of mine. That's deep, we're not gonna go there. Um, just like the, the unnaturalness of it has never sat right with me. They always feel like I'm wearing a diaper. I don't like disposable pads. Never have. Um, tampons I dealt with, but then I got a cup because like it was so much more convenient than having to buy tampons every month or two. Um, and I really loved it. It's great. It's more, you know, natural and, you know, just better for the environment, better for your wallet. It's just great. Um, and then it, I still felt like I needed to have some sort of liner there, so that's when I got into cloth. I don't use cloth exclusively because I still prefer to have some sort of internal protection, and this is probably way too much information for any men who might happen to be in my audience. I know there's not a lot, but I, I guess I should have warned you. If this is TMI for you, then you know what? Bye. See you in the next video. But if it is, you should be ashamed of yourself because it's a normal human process. Alright, so... Uh, I, long rambly way of saying, I was planning on like sewing some postpartum pads for myself. I have most of my stash I have sewn myself. Um, if you are interested in learning how to sew pads, even as like a beginner seamstress, um, I really recommend Amy Nix, her YouTube channel. Um, I think she's going to come up again in another video that I've already filmed for like August. Um, but... With everything, so much stuff going on, I decided to also be open to the idea of purchasing um, some postpartum pads so that I wouldn't have to sew everything, and because um, I have other things I'm working on sewing and knitting and everything as well. Um, so I uh, found this in a buy sell trade group. Um, I forget what it's called at the top of my head. It's on Facebook. I will link it below. Um, but these are actually made by like a professional pad maker who has an Etsy shop. The shop is called Creations by Five, and I had heard of them before. I think Precious Stars Pads did some, has some of hers that she likes, and so I knew the name. Um, and it was a reputable company, you know. And she does like these deals every so often where she does like a flat rate, four dollars per pad, which is an incredible deal. Um, postpartum pads, you know, the big long ones with like the extra absorbency, those tend to be more expensive, um, more in like the 10 to $15 range. So um, yeah, $4 a piece with flat rate shipping, I jumped on it and I ordered six. Um, so these are, they just came today, I've been looking forward to them, I'm glad that they came. It was pretty cool, she was doing like a, a sale where she and her, her daughters wanted to go to summer camp and so she was helping them raise money to go to summer camp and they were helping her sew to raise money. Um, it arrived in this cute little bubble mailer, or it's not a bubble mailer, there are no bubbles, it is a mailer though, and it says, in the vast sea don't overlook the little fish shop small. So that's cute. Um, and I'm just going to open this because I haven't seen yet what they look like. But I basically placed the order on Facebook and paid by PayPal and did not bring a pair of scissors into the office with me. Or into the nursery, sorry. Here we go. Alright, so what I ordered was, I believe, I think I remember I ordered six minky 13 inch postpartum pads and here they are she i pick the the size and absorbency and then they pick the color and so they're all surprising colors let's see awesome 
Okay. No packing list or anything. All right. Some of these are fluffier than others. This one is very fluffy. This one is like Muppet pink. <laughs> this looks like a Muppet kind of shag one. I've never, okay, I have to say I've never used a minky topper before, but I was thinking that it would be nice and comfortable after everything going on with the baby. Even though it'll be summer and hot, I'm, um, I just figured I'd go for minky. So um, this one is pink, fuzzy with, um, these all have fleece backers. And I believe they use Zorb inside. If you don't know what any of this is, like, welcome to the rabbit hole. Enjoy yourself, because it's a lot of fun. Um, you can find all sorts of information on YouTube about um, clog pads. This one, also pink, has this fun uh, paisley design on it. And it is a lower pile. You can see it, but the same, same back, black backer. Excuse me. All right. This one's gray with the with the polka dots, you know, that make you that you find at Joann's and all the different solid colors with black and blue snaps. And by the way, this is what these look like. This is how you do it. You fold it in half and go, that's how thick they are. They're, you know, they're pretty thick. They're pretty high absorbency. And so that is why they've got um, stitching around the topper right here. And he Yes. I don't know, what would you say that's three inches, three and a half inches? Pretty standard. It looks pretty standard. Uh, here's a green stripey one with also black fleece. These all, these all have black fleece and green snaps. Another pink one with polka dots. Same pink snaps. They're so soft. And then a fun 4th of July one, which will be perfect for my little early July baby. Um, so yeah, it's chevron, red, white, and blue. So the fuzziest one is the pink one. The very first Muppet pink one. And then second fuzziest is the one with the polka dots. You can kind of see those polka dots. And the rest are all the lower pile, which I think is good too. Excellent. So I can't comment on absorbency yet. I mean, I guess I could go run them under the sink. Um, but I may, if, how's this? If you never want me to mention this again and pretend that like I'm not talking about periods and bleeding and stuff on my YouTube channel, then say so or don't say anything. If you are curious about these creations by Five Pads and how they perform, um, then make a comment below and I will try to, for one of these unscheduled Sunday videos, I will, um, give a review. But mostly I'm going to be using these. I have a couple heavier ones that I have made myself and one, like, overnight one that's roughly this size and shape that I made for myself as well. But those all have, uh, quilt cotton, cotton quilt, uh, what's it called? Quilter's cotton woven, you know, toppers. So I'm hoping that these are going to be faster absorbency. This has been a very rambly video, and if you watch the whole thing, then here's a high five for you. Don't leave me hanging. Okay. I'll see you in the next one on Tuesday. Until then, <laughs> bye.